South Korea's President-elect Yoon Suk-yeol has indicated he is ready to come good on some of the crypto-related campaign promises that helped him win power earlier this year, and could end an initial coin offering ICO, ban that dates back to 2017. Yoon will be sworn into power on May 10. And per Newsies, Yoon's Presidential Transition Committee has placed the creation of a Digital Asset Framework Act, literal translation, on a short list of 110 action points that his government will tackle in the weeks and months after he takes up the presidency. The details of the plan include the creation of suitable conditions for investors who wish to invest in digital assets with confidence. More importantly for big businesses, however, the committee made mention of enabling domestic ECOs, albeit with issuance methods that provide safeguard. Unconfirmed reports in the country have also stated that other mega companies, so called chable firms, such as LG and Samsung, may look to follow suit. Previously the likes of Kakao and a Hyundai subsidiary have had to issue their own tokens through international subsidiaries. But with the SK token, and possibly others, primarily intended for domestic use, companies are thought to prefer a domestic launch. The proposed Digital Asset Framework Act would, the committee indicated, comprise measures to protect consumers and improve transaction stability, and could extend to the policing of both ECOs and the issuance of non-fungible tokens NFTs. Further token listing regulations are also likely to be included for crypto exchanges. Domestic ECOs, under the proposed law, would be organized into a regulatory system, where coins would be classified as security type and non-security type tokens, with a government appointed body ruling on matters such as the utility nature of a token and whether it was intended for use in TH.